Hello and welcome to the Mirror Next video showing you how to transfer a file from your local computer to the remote desktop. So here we have um, just our remote desktop web browser and we have already opened our remote desktop. So this is demonstration platform two. There's our web browser and here is our remote desktop. So to transfer a file from your local computer, the normal Windows Explorer, and in the left hand column here we have our local desktop, that's the normal C drive, and just above that you'll see local disk drive, so they're your local drives with a local computer, and it will be named in brackets of your local computer. Here it's desktop 1UTM4. So we locate where we want to go, through usually through users, admin, and then your normal filing structure with QUs. Here we've located uh, one in a software called Telestream, and we're going to transfer Telestream from my local laptop to the remote desktop. And this particular file is 2.19 gigabytes, so just to show a large, fairly large file. And we can transfer up to four gigabytes using this method. So we just copy and then go to the remote desktop downloads folder or any desired folder and we paste it. And you'll see that as normal it will copy from your local device to the remote desktop. And here we're just going to, so we can see that it's going to take um, approximately 15 minutes. We'll see that shortly to download, to complete the download. And we're going to skip ahead this video so we don't have to watch the entire thing. So we've skipped ahead to 98% here and it's about to finish and that's taken around 15 minutes for just over 2.2 gigabytes to transfer. We'll let that complete. Now of course, so that's a copy and paste, so that depends on um, the bandwidth of the remote desktop, which is large in the data center, and the bandwidth of your local computer. But of course, we could also, in this particular case, download the software directly from the web. So this is the not our local desktop. This is the uh, this is the remote desktop, and this is Internet Explorer within the remote desktop. So we just navigate to whatever we want to download, and we could use Dropbox or Google Drive or another sharing platform, and we can download directly. So if you have a file larger than four gigabytes, you can download it directly using a different file transfer method. Here we're just, again, we're selecting a, a folder on the remote desktop, and we're gonna click download. And instead of it taking 15 minutes, it's taking just over one minute. Um, we're again, we're just going to skip ahead here because we don't need to watch it or download all the way. And that's that's it. That's, uh, that's, that's taken just over one minute there. And we've downloaded the same same files twice, uh, one from the local laptop and one from directly from the web. And that concludes this uh, tutorial. Thank you for watching and we hope you enjoy your remote desktop.